Hi everyone. So today we are going to try a different sort of video because we are reading the story of rainbow fish. We're going to be doing some rainbow fish craft today. So this is going to be a slightly long video, but it's going to be an enjoyable video. Now, very long ago, I uh, used a cereal box and I made an aquarium. Uh, so it's a little cut in the box. And you put fish inside and when you shake it, it looks like a little fish tank. So we're going to use our cereal box today to learn how to do this. So the first thing you need to have is, of course, a cereal box. Now, my son loves Cocoa Pops, so I have got uh, Chicks and Cocoa Pops cereal boxes. The second thing you're going to need is some paper. So ask mom and dad to get some paper from the printer for you. Plain paper with no lines. You need some sticky tape. You need a glue stick. You need a sharp pair of scissors. You need a ruler. And you can get grandma to give you a cotton, a very thick needle, and some cotton and thread. Uh, you also need a little bit of lunch wrap or a tin foil that you usually use to wrap your lunch in or mom uses to make roast with. I didn't have any colors in my house. <laughs> so when I went down to Countdown, I got those in Countdown for $2. So you can very easily pick those up. All right, without very much more to say, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to take your cereal box and you need to take one of the sheets of paper. Now, the whole idea is that this piece of paper is going to fit inside the cereal box. So the first thing you do is, I'm going to take the camera off me now, and I am going to put it down on the table, and you are going to listen and follow as I explain. All right. I'm so excited about making this aquarium. Right, the first thing you're going to do is, you are going to take the cereal box, and you're going to place it on the printing, on the paper. And then you're going to take a marker or a vivid and you're going to trace around the box now the reason why you do this is because you're going to be drawing a picture on this piece of paper and you want it to fit inside this box so your picture needs to fit inside the square that you draw on your blank piece of paper now, I have already drawn a picture, but I will start to just explain how you could draw a picture and what are some of the things you could draw on your picture. So I used my black vivid or a better one would be my black art liner. And I drew the things that I think would look nice inside a fish tank or that would be at the bottom of the sea. Some of those things could be seaweed or shells that might be lying on the beach, uh, that you usually see on the beach, but this now it's gonna be underwater. Um, that's a jellyfish that I've drawn. Uh, you could draw shells under the water. Um, you could draw a sunken boat or ship, one that has a broken mast lying under the sea. Uh, you could draw crabs and you could draw starfish. Um, Think of all the things that live in, in the sea and you could have fun drawing them. So I would first draw them like that and then I would use my colors and I would color them. But the important bit would be to remember to make sure that you color and draw inside the lines. As the lesson goes on, you'll see why that will be important, right? So this is all preparation. So here's one I did earlier. This is a picture of mine. As you can see, I got a little fish with some bubbles and a sunken ship and a little crab and some seaweed. And I put some water. You know what would be fantastic? If you had blue paper. If you had blue paper, you'd be really lucky. My dad didn't have any, so she just made do with some white paper. Once you have that done, the next thing that you need to do to prepare for your aquarium is to draw the rainbow fish. Now remember, the rainbow fish needs to be drawn smaller than this box because he's going to fit inside this box and he's going to look as if he's swimming around. So on your piece of paper, I want you to draw a rainbow fish and try and make his body as big as possible, but not too big. And then you can draw a little face on him. 
mom and dad can help you with this or grandma or grandpa or any other lovely people that are in your house your older brothers and your sisters and you draw a little fish like that now i have drawn and prepared my little fish earlier on what i did with my fish was because it's the story of the rainbow fish i also cut some tin foil and I stuck it onto the rainbow fish's body so that it looks like rainbow fish scales because we're doing the story of the rainbow fish and I thought it would be a good idea. So it's easy to kind of um, draw the scale, um, cut the scales out. It actually doesn't really even matter what sh or shape you cut them in too much, just as long as they look something like this, like a teardrop sort of shape. And then all you have to do is on your colored up rainbow fish you just need to take your glue stick put a little bit of glue on it and then oh rainbow fish doesn't have any silver on his tail so i'm going to stick a silvery bit of foil on his tail so now once you have rainbow fish already and you have your background all colored then you are ready for the next step of the aquarium so these two bits need to be done before it should take you quite a bit of time to do both those and do a good job all right because five day was really rushing through her and she didn't make it as pretty as i know some of you can do i know there's some really fantastic artists in our class and i know that you can definitely do a piece of Art way better than mine so you guys give it your best shot right the next thing you need to do is you need to take your cereal box now this is where you need a ruler and you might need some help some of you might need some help all right uh, ask for help if you need help now you need your ruler now what you need to do is we're gonna cut this box up so you've got to take your ruler and you've got to place it on the cereal box towards the edge but not on the very edge so if you like hmm, hmm, I don't know if you know centimeters yet all right you can get mom and dad to help you and say you need to have at least a centimeter space from the edge of the box and you draw a line going down that way all the way to the end and on this end you turn the box around and you do another centimeter up that way let me get closer to you I can show you this better all right so you draw another line there and then the last one on this side of the box the box the shape of the box is actually a rectangle so you need to draw a rectangle on the edge of the box but be careful not to go to the very edge of the box because you're sort of making a little window for your aquarium so that everyone will be able to see your background scenery and your rainbow fish swimming inside your box right the next thing you need to do is you need a very sharp scissors and you just like need to go like this oh and you need to just make one little hole like that oh be careful when you do that all right maybe you need adult help get mom or dad to help you when you do that once you get one tiny little hole you've got to stick your scissors down the middle like into the box like that and try and work your way in tiny little cuts up to the edge because you are going to cut all along the lines that you have drawn all right so you've got to cut all the way around your box down that way and down this way yes that is awesome and some of you might find it a little hard to cut very straight but this is where mom and dad and your grandmas and grandpas and older brothers and sisters can come in and help you yay do you see that my box is cut and there's a nice big window in there. Now, oh, I was checking the box out earlier and I already had a piece of paper inside there. All right, you can do that as well. Before you actually start drawing your picture, you can cut the edges and you can test out whether it's going to fit inside your box or not. 
Now at this point, do you see the edges of my, the lines? I'm going to cut along those lines because this paper is too big to fit inside my box. So I'm going to cut the paper. And even when you're drawing, you should uh, use, um, uh, be sensible when you're drawing and try to keep most of your pictures that you're going to draw towards the middle of your picture. And then all you're going to do now is you're going to slip the picture into the box. Do you see that? Yay, that looks so cool. It looks like an aquarium. Now I might, now that it fits, I might be happy to actually put some glue on the back of my picture. Oh, now this is going to be tricky. And then I have to get my picture, open the sides of the box really carefully and pop my background into the box. Now it's all stuck and really, really nice. All right, the next thing I need to do is, do you know the piece that I cut out earlier on? That piece now becomes really, really important because what I need to do is I need to get my rainbow fish and I need to cut him, but not into his shape yet. I just need to cut him like this, roughly around the edges so that I don't need too much of glue when I glue him onto my cardboard, chuck that in the bin. So here's my piece of card that I cut out from that part of the box. Now I'm going to take my rainbow fish and I'm going to glue the back of him, my completed rainbow fish, with all my beautiful silver scales on the rainbow fish. And I'm going to stick him on my cardboard like that. And once he's nicely stuck down, I am going to cut him out. So here goes. I'm going to cut him out along the lines. All right. I know you can make a way prettier rainbow fish. And you know what, you guys? You can make more than one fish. You might want to make more than one fish to put inside your aquarium and you and that's a-okay. I'm just making one fish because I don't want to make a very, very long video. <laughs> and then you might stop watching and you might never make a rainbow fish. <laughs> but I really hope that you do. This is fun and easy and you might already have everything you need in your house. Now there's my rainbow fish and he's nice and firm. He's stuck on the piece of cardboard, right? Oops. And sorry guys <laughs> and um, now the next thing i need to do is i need to take my needle and i need to get ready to make a hole in the top of my rainbow fish now watch this this is really tricky right so you might need help here again i got a really thick needle so i'm going to take my needle and on the back of my rainbow fish not very far down oh let me get up and show it to you again bring it as close to the camera as possible all right so i am going to Take my needle and poke it through the end so that my rainbow fish looks like it is going for a swim. Just now you'll see that. All right. And then I'm going to make a knot at the end. And I might take a little bit of tape. I've got my tape hanging up over here. A little bit of sticky tape like this. And I might just stick the thread. See that? And just stuck the thread that I have put through Rainbow Fish. There he is. All right, and I just put a bit of tape there to secure him a bit more. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take my box, my aquarium box, and I am gonna take the needle. 
now that rainbow fish is hanging at the end of it, I'm going to have to make sure that rainbow fish is facing the front. All right, we don't want him showing his cocoa pop side. <laughs> if you have time, you could put something on the other side of the fish as well. So you wouldn't have to worry about that. Now, I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to come way closer to you so you can see this all happening. And I am going to poke a hole in the center on the top of my box. And as I pull the string up, you will see rainbow fish come up. And I might pull the string all the way to the back there. And you will see rainbow fish is hanging inside my aquarium. Isn't that cool? Now the next thing I need to do is I need to get another piece of tape for the top of the box. All right. So when rainbow fish is hanging up there, I am going to make sure that he looks really cute and he's hanging up there. I'm going to stick a bit of tape up there and I am going to cut that thread. Cut the thread on the top and give my needle back to, give your needle back to grandma. All right, so, oh dear. So there's rainbow fish, <laughs> somewhat in his little um, aquarium he might need another bit of thread that goes from his tail we always start at the back of the fish and another piece of tape the back of rainbow fish all right I think he needs a little more support so I might turn him a bit and pop that through the hole there there we go that's much better I'm happy with that now and then I might put another piece of tape up there cut the piece of tape off and there you go guys there is my rainbow fish and he looks like he's going for a little swim in his aquarium or his fish tank and I can push the sides of the box down and maybe add a bit more tape over there Let me just do that quickly and neaten up the box over here like that. Seal the box up because I don't need to go in there now. And there is my rainbow fish going for a swim. Did you see how easy that was? That was really easy to do. So please try and do a rainbow fish aquarium using your cereal boxes. And uh, if you like, you can get somebody to video you as well. And you can send me a video or at least send me a picture. All right, cool guys. I'm so excited about my rainbow fish. I'll bring it to school when we come back to school on the first day, okay? Bye everyone.